John says or claims that the mean of the production is now more than 500 grams. I have taken a sample of 40 products and I see a mean of Five hundred fifty in the sample. Standard deviation, deviation of the sample is ten. John only accept us rejecting his claim if observation has one percent chance of happening. Based on his claim. Alpha is one person. So let's see what is going on. John's claim is about what? Mean. Mean of? The population. Very good. So there is a population. John is making a claim about the population. What did we do? We took a sample. A sample of size. 40. We took a sample of 40. And in that sample, we saw a mean of... 550. 550. The standard deviation of 10. Okay, so what do we do? Write down his claim. Yeah, what is his claim? The mean of the population is? More than 500. More than 500. More than 500. What is the step two? The right the opposite of his claim. The yeah, opposite is this. What is the step three? Which one's null and which one's alternative? Yeah, which one is the null? Well, the bottom one. The one that has equality. Repeat that so you don't do a mistake. The one that has equality is the null. The other one is the alternative. What is the next step? We accept the null. Tentatively. Okay. And then everything that we write here on would be based on that acceptance. So now, what do we know about the variations of our sample? You know, yes, sample means vary, but we know that they vary with a normal distribution. The mean of all of the sample means is the mean of the population. The standard deviation of all of the sample means is the standard deviation of the population divided by a square root of n. 
Do we know what is the mean at this point? 500. Yeah. Why? Because we accept it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's like a something that we promised to accept and make our judgment based on that. What is the standard deviation of the population? I don't know. How do you feel? Sad. Is there anyone to help you? Gossett. Yes, yeah. Mr. Gossett. Mr. Gossett says, okay, take the T distribution with a degree of freedom of... 39. 39. And then you can use S divided by a square root of N instead of sigma. And S of my sample is 10 divided by a square root of 40. Now I feel happy that I can continue. Standard deviation of variations of X bar is? 1.5811. Very good. So now we have to find out what can happen uh, that will enable us to reject the null. If we get something very less than 500, can we reject the null? A lot less than 500 if that happens. No. no. Because the null says it is less than 500, so these are all fine. But if we find something on this side, we can reject the null. And uh, this guy is a stubborn guy. He said that I only accept rejection if that chance is 1%. So please go to T distribution, look at the one tail in row 39 and tell me what would be the rejection area. And while you are answering that, uh, I will answer this call. Hello? Of course. Oh, well, okay, which class are you in? Yeah, so you want to get in? You want to get into the class? Yeah, call me after 11.30. Thanks, bye-bye. Okay, so uh, 2.426. Okay, so you, you are looking at row uh, 39, one tail, one yeah, percent. Okay. What did yeah. you get? 2.426. Does does anybody everybody get that? Yeah. Yes. In row thirty nine. Yeah. Okay. Two. So this is T critical. That's the boundary of that tail. Is two point? Read it for me. Or two six. Four two six. Good. So now we know what would enable us to reject. Now let's find out what is the T of our observation. Our observation, what was our observation? We observed 550, the claim is 500, and uh, the standard deviation is 1.5811. So T of observation is where? 31.66. Wow, look at that. 31 standard deviations. So is T of observation here? No. Is it here? No. Is it here? No. Is it, it's way on this side. So yeah. this is my T of my observation. It is in the rejection area, therefore I reject the null and I accept this claim. So look at this, the claim was mu is more than 500. We got 550 and it turns out that 550 is actually not, you know, because we, without this calculation, we wouldn't know if 550 is close to the 500 or it is far. Everything is measured based on a standard deviations and so forth. But now we see that 550 is actually 31 standard deviations more than the mean. 
So it's a very good evidence for us to accept the norm. Sorry, to accept the claim. Yeah. Accept the claim that mean of the population of the products is more than 500. And actually you have to write another sentence that says we reject the claim that the mean of the population is less than or equal to 500 because uh, the T of observation is really much higher than 500. 